Here they want us to simplify. So what you do here is you just leave that one alone. You leave that one alone. On this one, you can type that on your calculator. The number eight, you can say eight equals, then press the shift button, and then press fact. Fact is not written on the button, but it's written above um, one of the buttons. And if you do that, you're gonna end up with two to the power of three, okay? So like that. And then at the bottom, we know that the number four is the same as two to the power of two, and then it's got a little five over there. Okay, now, you see, because what we do is we like to break all of these numbers down into their prime numbers. Let me show you something quite cool. So let's say you have 20 multiplied by 10 divided by four multiplied by, um, I don't know, 30. Now, let's say you wanted to break all of these numbers down. So right now it's difficult to try cancel, right? But if you look at the number 20, we know that the number 20 is the same as 10 times two, and the number 10 is the same as five times two. So then the number 20 can be written as five multiplied by two to the power of two. And it cannot go any further, you can't break it down any further because these are prime numbers. So that would be five times two to the power of two, then the number 10 is the same as five times two, that can't be broken down any further. The number four is the same as two to the power of two, or two times two. The number 30, you could think of it as 15 times two or 10 times three, it doesn't matter, you'll still get to the same answer. Then 15 is the same as five times three, and there we go, you cannot go any further. So you could say five times three times two. Now what's happened is we've gone and we've taken all of these different numbers and we've broken them down into their building blocks. Now it becomes really easy to simplify because this five and this five can cancel, this two and this two can cancel, this two squared and this two squared can cancel, and you're literally just left with a five at the top and a three at the bottom. You see, so that is what we are doing here as well. We are breaking numbers down into their prime numbers because then it becomes easier to simplify and to cancel. Okay, and that's what's beautiful about prime numbers is you cannot go any lower than the prime numbers. So you take all these numbers that are totally different and you start breaking them down into their basic building blocks, which are the prime numbers, and then you can start canceling. Okay, so at the top here, a lot of learners make mistakes with this. Um, you see, if we have a squared multiplied by a3 multiplied by a3, then what does that become? It becomes a, you don't change that part, and then what do you do with these? You add those exponents, and so that becomes an eight. Now when there's a two over here, learners think, oh, I'm just gonna go multiply the numbers, but that's not correct, because we didn't do that here, you just left it as an A. So at the top here, we're gonna end up with a two, and then you're gonna say two plus three, plus three, which is eight. Then at the bottom, you're gonna end up with a two, and then what do you do with these two things over here? You multiply them, so that'll become a 10. Now we're gonna to stick to exponent rules. So what you could think of here is that at the top, we've got two to the power of eight. Now I know this is gonna take a while, but that's the same as having eight twos at the top, right? And then at the bottom, we have 10. So if you had to cancel out, you could cancel those like that. And then you would still have these at the bottom. So your answer would then be one over two to the power of two, because there's two of them. And then you could write that as one over two to the power of two is four. If you don't wanna write it out like that, then what you would do here is use your exponent rules. So exponent rules, if you have, for example, a to the seven over a to the nine, then that becomes a to the top number minus the bottom number, which would be minus two. And then you could take that a minus two and put it at the bottom as a two. So if you did that over here, you would say that that is gonna be two to the power of the top number minus the bottom number, which is minus two. But then you're not gonna leave your answer like that you're rather gonna write it as one over two to the positive two, which is then one over four.